Here we have the exclusive Red Hats walking across the field after a job well done. Jimmy, anything you want to add to this uh, this walk to the to the dressing room, the official Red Hats dressing room? I think the Red Hats played well. I mean, they were they were where they needed to be. They I covered thought... the area really well. Responded quickly to the referee's whistle. Played to the whistle, not through it. You know, I personally thought the flag uh, velocity was a lot better this game than the last game we saw. I agree. Yeah. Like, I've always been a big fan of the counterclockwise swirl. These guys are making the clockwise work. I respect that. You know what? Every every red hat has their own their own uh, you know their own way of doing things. Juby. Agreed. Not everybody can follow the rules all the time. I suppose I'm old school. <laughs> but I'll adjust. All right, this has been our official Red Hat coverage. Oh wait, they're looking, they're looking at their fans. Wait, they're in there, they're talking to the fans. The uh, Red Hat fans apparently in the crowd there, checking it out. If you notice the one fan who's commenting on the counterclockwise. Yeah, that, that is true, that is true. Yeah. Fans notice this stuff, Jimmy. The hardcore Argo fans, they do notice when the Red Hats pull something, you know, a little bit different out of their, out of their pocket, so to speak. Now, admittedly, I didn't check Bet365.net prior to the game. I don't know what the over-under was on the stoppage and the spin. That could be what the comment is, too. If these guys happen to lose rent money because they took them uh, over. I'm sure those guys had like a thousand bucks on that. On that. Oh, and wait a minute. And then he's like, oh, he gave a thumbs up at the end, so things must have settled out okay. If that was a digit, then that's probably a positive sign. <laughs> there you go. I can now conclude the official Red Hat coverage, ArgoSenson.com.